Hello everyone, I'm Mike, I'm a junior, and for my final project, I did scene carving. First thing first, what is scene carving, and what problem does it solve? Well, imagine if you have an image, but it is too big to fit in your web page. You will most likely crop that image into the desired size. However, simple cropping can result in important information loss. This is where scene carving comes in. Scene carving is basically a smart way to shrink and it can also enlarge an image without destroying the important structure of the image. It shrinks the image by establishing a scene, which is a path of the least important pixels, and then it removes that scene. The steps for scene carving are, first, we need an energy function to calculate the weight or the importance of each pixel, and then we find the scene with the least weight. We delete that scene and we repeat the process until we shrink the image into the desired size. For the energy functions, I implemented two of them. One is the magnitude of the gradient and the other is the entropy field of an image. For most images, the magnitude of gradient works great. However, there may be some cases where the entropy field comes on top. That's why I have two of them. After implementing the energy functions, let's talk about how I implemented the scene finding and removing. The first algorithm I implemented is pretty straightforward. I just removed the column or row with the minimum total energy. This way is really fast, but the image gets distorted fast after removing multiple scenes. Therefore, I created the second algorithm, which uses a greedy algorithm. This algorithm is really fast, and it produces way better output than the first one. However, due to its limitations, this is not an optimal solution. Thus, I created the last algorithm which uses dynamic programming. This algorithm is the most optimal solution. However, it is the slowest. Now, the following are some special features or tricks that I've used in this project. First of all, the horizontal seams are implemented by rotating the image 90 degrees and then find the vertical seam. This way, I did not have to implement the same code twice. Second of all, the user can choose which way of seam finding and which energy function they would like to use. And I implemented a basic user interface for all of the input, so the user does not have to change the value in my code. Fourth, I allowed users to use their own images. And last but not least, they can change the pausing time for each frame to see the scene and its removal. Now, let me give you a live demonstration of my code. After I hit run, it will let me choose the image. Let's choose this one. And then amount of rows, let's say five, amount of columns, let's say 10, and then each 0 0.1 second between each row. Hit OK, gradient, dynamic programming, and the red curve line will be the scene that is being removed. Here are some results. This is the image from the assignment sheet. This is an image I took of my dad and my little sister. This is my cat, and this is also the image I think entropy works better. This is a game that I really like, and this is an image of Beijing that I found online. Overall, I found this project really fun and I got challenged while implementing dynamic programming. I also enjoyed that I was allowed to be creative on the user interface and what to include in my code. One improvement I would like is to allow menu selection of which part of the image is important so no seams that go through that area will be removed. Thank you for listening.